Hey everybody, how you doing out there? I'm just chilling, chilling today. I have a very special anniversary for you guys out there. Special edition. I call it the special edition. A big anniversary of 9-11. Tomorrow, which is today, uh, tomorrow is going to be 9-11, uh, 20, 21, 20, how do you say, 21th anniversary of 9-11 in New York City. That's right. It all happened in, uh, in New York City. Uh, the center of New York City. Tomorrow is going to be the 9-11, 9-11, 21 years ago, tomorrow. That's 21 years ago, uh, two airplanes, I'm going to talk about these two airplanes, that hit the Twin Towers, that's Twin Tower folks, uh, they hit the two buildings, uh, it was like a, it was like a dart, hit into a, a dartboard. Uh, airplanes hit the buildings, the two tall buildings, and it slammed right into the buildings. Right into the buildings. Always the city And uh, these are airplanes. These are uh, commercial airplanes. And uh, people were on it. It was a, uh, you know, at airport people go on airplanes. Well, this is, was one of them. And uh, they tried to over overpower the uh, the hijackers. I guess they call them hijackers. And they were going to uh, sabotage the air airplane, the airplane that was up in the air. And uh, yeah, this happened 21 years ago, and they have the audio, the audio stuff of it, and the visuals of it, and uh, a couple of planes hit the Twin Towers and the Pentagon too as well, in New York City. Uh, the Pentagon is not the White House, it's the other, it's in the Pentagon, you might have heard about the Pentagon. Um, that's in New York City. I'm going to explain these places, these places, and uh, what I'm going to talk about through 9/11. Uh, two airplanes hit the twin towers. You might have seen that uh, in, bit in the YouTube videos. Uh, it was a real deal. It was the real deal. It wasn't faked. It wasn't faked. It was the real deal. Uh, they slammed right into the building. Imagine the air a big, huge jumbo jet airplane slammed into a building, like in uh, great light speed. It's like that. That scares the living genies out of anybody. And everybody's going to be killed in the building, in the big massive building. And uh, I want to send my regards to the, the survivors of Nylon. Um, I'm not just saying for the third person here. Uh, the survivors of Nylon, I uh, hope they're still surviving today. And uh, yeah, this is my true story to everybody. And uh, they have videos about this, so Nylon will be the 21th anniversary of it. Tomorrow, on uh, September 11, 2001. So 21 years ago, and people were, were saying uh, it was the terrorists of people. Terrorism, I guess the word they would say. Or you. Uh, terrorism, these were people, or bad people, they call them bad people. They hijacked the plane. They hijacked the plane to the uh, Twin Towers of New York City. And these are big tall buildings, big tall buildings. And uh, two air, airliner, these are airline airplanes, you might see them up in the sky. Uh, and the hijackers hijacked the airplane. This is what you call hijacking the airplane, the entire plane. And uh, forcing, it, forcing it to go different directions. And uh, people on the airplane were trying to get it. Uh, try to go after these guys who are taking over the airplane. So these are these are uh, people on the airplane, and they would say to themselves, "What you do? What you do?" Kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, remember, folks, it's 21 years ago tomorrow. All day tomorrow is going to be 21 years ago. 9/11 had happened. There will be a video on CNN, CNN, uh, the t uh, the newscast CNN, uh, about 21 years ago. From the from the buildings, so they, uh, before the buildings came down, uh, they were in the elevators of those two twin towers, and these are fire firefighters that were in there, uh, heading up to the elevators, up to the elevators to the tall building, and uh, three hundred uh, firefighters lost their lives. Three hundred firefighters lost their lives in New York City. Uh, they, I saw a video about it just a few days back, and uh, 300 uh, firefighters lost their lives that day on 9 11. And I want to say um, to the survivors out there, 
And um, yeah, so 9-11, I'll put, I'll put it in a subtitle at the top of the screen. And uh, 21 years ago, folks, I was speaking over, uh, I was spe I was speaking over on the UK Parliament. Uh, and 21 years ago, and uh, yeah, 9 -11. if you were there and you survived that 9-11 uh, incident, good luck for you. I mean, great. Uh, these are only survivors that survived 9-11. Uh, I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Uh, but yeah, two, two towers, the uh, the uh, Mercy people went up the buildings, up to the, uh, they went up the escalators, all the way up top to the buildings. And, and uh, 21 years ago, I'll put it in the subtitling. Uh, and rest in peace for those uh, those uh, for those firefighters, those mercy uh, people on 9/11. And uh, yeah, 21 years ago, if can you believe it's 21 years ago since 9/11 on that fateful morning, around 9 o'clock in the morning. And a lot of people uh, went from the stairs. They went from the stairs to the. Uh, they didn't go with the elevators, they went down the stairs of a big building. And it was, uh, I forget how many steps there were in those Twin Tower buildings. And it was quite, quite, uh, uh, it was quite frightening for a lot of people in those office buildings. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, folks. 21 years ago of 9-11, I'll put that as the hashtag. And you guys will see it on my YouTube channel. And it'll be in the YouTube, uh, it'll be uh, published publicly. And, uh, yes, so there you go, folks. This will be 21 years ago. The uh, TV station is going to mention it tomorrow. Uh, and they'll do their new newscast. They'll do a little bit of news about the 9-11 tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so my my tribute, my special edition tribute to 9-11 for survivors and who didn't survive it. And uh, I guess the people who are out there who... Uh, who uh, Tragically uh, died in 9 11. Um, uh, sorry about your loss. And uh, that was a big thing in 9 11. Uh, the people that lost their lives in the Twin Tower buildings, uh, rest in peace with them. And uh, I know you're not going to get your family back from 9 11, but there's 300, apparently there was 300 uh, firefighters in, that, in those Twin Tower buildings. And uh, yes, yeah. so there you go, folks. I'll see you guys on the, uh, on the next episode. The, this is so-called podcast, and uh, I'm going to uh, talk over the uh, from the UK Parliament here, and uh, so uh, 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 send my prayers to the uh, survivors of 9/11. Send, send my prayers to them that survived 9/11. Uh, oh, there's a lot of people from New York City cities were running, uh, running away from those Twin Tower buildings. Yeah. And uh, it was horrendous. It was horrendous, folks. It was early in the morning at 9 o'clock. Everything was going swell in the world. And, and, and all of a sudden, two, two airplanes, two jet airplanes that people tend to fly around with uh, hit the Twin Towers uh, break night speed. I don't know how fast the airplane was going. Uh, but it hit the building. Uh, this is way, way, uh, way, way up there on the buildings. Way, way up there. So you have to look upward. Upward. And, uh, and these were, these were commercial airplanes, I think. Commercial airplanes. And, uh, they, uh, these two guys decided to hijack an airplane. These two airplanes. And there's audio about this. And it was terrible, pretty much terrible. Everybody was scared around that time frame, 2001. Uh, there was, everybody was in high alert after 9-11 uh, for five years, for five years. Because of 9-11. Uh, I remember when it was high alert for everywhere in New York City. It was a scary time for a lot of New Yorkers. Now, everybody was upset uh, after five years that it happened. Uh, people were complaining about government. The government did this. The government did that. Uh, they said it was a false flag on 9/11. Uh, oh, many things they said about it. But this is years years later, folks. We're still talking about this to, to this day. Uh, but 21 years anniversary of 9/11, folks. I can't believe it's been 21 years ago. And we have to discuss this. We have to discuss this. And I just want to say, I just want to, for the survivors, I'm happy you survived 9-11.
and uh, the people who didn't, uh, rest in peace, rest in peace for those people who did. My my prayers go out to them. I'm not joking. My prayers go out to them. And I know how I'll lose someone in an 11 It's very uh, heart wrench. Uh, other planes uh, hit the Pentagon and uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, one other plane hit the Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, so four airplanes, four airplanes missed the target. Well, actually, two of them missed the targets. It's great to be able to follow the honorable member for class. And uh, yeah, so anyway, there you go. There's a, it's just a special edition, a special edition because of 9 11. 21 years ago, later. And, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. This is my special edition. Um, like I said, survivors, if you're out there, uh, we uh, appreciate you guys. But to the people who passed away in 9-11 of the buildings, may you rest in peace. Forever into eternity. I use the word eternity. And, uh, yeah, you won't be forgotten. You won't be forgotten, folks. You won't. And, uh, who was writing this? I remember that morning very vividly, and that was my recognition. And it was uh, it was broadcast over on CNN that morning, and everybody was uh, doing their normal news hours or news their their news channels. And all of a sudden, they had a breakaway from other newscasts, and uh, they were getting reports of airplanes hitting the buildings. And uh, yeah, and, 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 and you know the snowball effect came on, and uh, and then everybody thought what was happening. People didn't know, and uh, yeah. But later in the day, everybody thought that uh, it was pretty pretty uh, hectic down in that level. So anyway, anyway, my my regards to the survivors my, uh, and my uh, sympathy for the people who lost their lives in the 9/11 buildings. And, uh, yeah, whoever they are out there, if they're still living, I send my regards to them. Yeah. So 21 years ago, tomorrow, uh, this will be the special edition uh, podcast about 9-11. And this, it won't be a documentary or anything. It'll be just a podcast thing. So, and, uh, yeah, so there we go, folks. Uh, we're September 10th today. Tomorrow is September 11th. 9-11, and, and uh, like I said, 21 years ago, but in Canada, we never had that sort of uh, sort of thing happen to us in Canada. Uh, no airplane has done that, uh, but like I said, folks, 9-11 uh, is tomorrow, 21 years ago, a big, huge anniversary for 9-11. Um, a few more years will be 25th anniversary of 9-11. Uh, the one way, the one thing I would take away from this is I uh, hope there's no other 9/11 had happened. Uh, Barack Obama was there as the president of the United States. Never, uh, no 9/11 happened on his watch. Uh, Donald Trump. Uh, we got Joe Biden as president of the United States still, and uh, the Biden administration, I guess, what you call it. Um, and who else? Anyway. But uh, it happened under uh, George W. Bush. That's his name, George W. Bush. And uh, and so there you go, folks. I'll put this. I'll publish. I'll publish this on my YouTube channel publicly right after this uh, video. And uh, this is my this is my um, heartfelt moment. Now we're all gonna. Uh, have a little tear in our eye tomorrow about 9 11. Anniversary, big, huge anniversary. 9 11. So, anyway, I hope this is too long. I know it's been too long, video, but I want to say um, for the survivors out there, 9 11, we'll hear about it on CNN tomorrow. And I'm just crying about it. I'm very much crying about it. It's a heartfelt, uh, as people like to say, heartfelt moment. Yeah. And public reaction, public reaction because of 9-11. Uh, yeah, yeah. And are we better off uh, from 9-11? Yes, we are. All those years later, yep, we are. It uh, made us a little better, a little wiser. Let's put it that way, a little wiser. And, uh, yeah, God forbid if there's ever going to be 9-11. But people are now talking about World War III. They're actually talking about now World War III on Americans. And they're going to do it with uh, nuclear bombs, nuclear bombs, or 
if uh, Putin and those guys and uh, the uh, the uh, Russians or the uh, Chinese have anything to say about it. And uh, yeah, so what you're listening to in the background, if you're wondering what you're listening to in the background, is the UK Parliament in the background talking over them. And uh, and there you go, folks. It's a heartfelt moment, and the TV stations won't mention about 9/11 uh, for 21 years later. Yeah, are we better off? Yes, we are. Wiser, and we're more intuitive as we were back in 2001. Yeah. So there you go, folks. People have their stories. I get it. People have their stories. 9/11. I have mine. And the way I saw it, the way I saw it was just live. It wasn't uh, a green, through a green screen or uh, anything like that. Just, uh, it was a hot dog moment. New Yorkers were very sad about that day, very sad. And I think five years later after that, everybody was in high alert. I mean, they raised the thing up to uh, decimal five, I think. Uh, so everybody was in high alert five years after 9-11. People were very upset that it happened and uh, a little bit wiser and uh, we got over it years and years later of it. Oh, one more thing, one more thing I forgot to say to you guys out there was Building 7. Now, Building 7 has been mentioned uh, quite a lot in 9-11. Building 7 was uh, right beside, I think it was right beside the Twin Towers. It was the, on the other side, if you were looking from the camera angles, it was on the other side of the area. Uh, people had their ideas why then it came down when it did, you know, when it did. Uh, engineers were trying to figure out how that happened. Uh, people thought it was like a pancake effect. You know, it came down on its own, on its own, basically. Yeah. Now, with Bill and Seven, people mentioned about Bill and Seven, it was way off from the side of uh, the Twin Towers. Yeah, you might see it on the camera angles. Yeah. So there you go, folks. That's it for me. Uh, my special uh, thanks to all you YouTubers out there. My uh, uh, special addition to 9-11 is from me. My heart, my heartfelt for all the survivors of 9-11 and uh, the death of uh, firefighters. 300, 300 of them died. 300 firefighters died of 9-11. And uh, yeah. So the big, uh, my special attention to everybody out there, this will be the audio portion, no visuals. And uh, this will be like a podcast, so I'll put it in the title, Audio Owner. Yeah. And so there you go, guys, uh, no visuals, I don't want any visuals. But my my takeaway from 9-11 is really sad. It's still, we're still at 21 years ago later on that fateful morning, or New Yorkers. It only happened in New York City. Uh, around the uh, and down where you know where the big huge uh, buildings are and uh, so there you go folks I'll see you guys on the next uh, podcast show until then this is not my rant this is just uh, uh, my story of my love anniversary special edition here. and uh, this is my takeaway from this and I hope you guys have a story I know you guys will have a story about 9-11 I got mine and uh, yeah, uh, survivors, if you survived 9 11, I, uh, I appreciate that, your stories, everything. And the people who didn't survive 9 11, I say into eternity. The death of uh, you people in 9 11. Yeah. So there you go, guys. I put this on audio, and um, this will be published, published on my YouTube channel publicly, just so you know. People will see this video. And uh, yeah, so this will be on a stereo audio portion. See you guys.